Hello, uh, my name is Phil. I'm a rising senior in the Material Science and Engineering Department. This summer I joined Professor Steve Forrest up to Electronic Components and Materials Group. The title of my summer research is Material Quality Characterization of Compound Semiconductor Solar Cell Devices. Compound semiconductor solar cells using gallium arsenide and indium phosphide are thin, lightweight, and highly efficient in comparison to silicon-based technology. High temperature operations and optical concentrations are also allowed in 3-5 materials because of its more favorable temperature coefficient. 3-5 material is attractive for space and flight applications based on both high wave power and area power ratios. Previous research within our group has demonstrated highly efficient 3-5 solar cells transferred onto flexible plastic substrates and the reuse of the expensive 3-5 wafer substrates. Our current research motivation is to improve capacity and affordability of this promising technology. We want a clean and electronically passivated surface. 3-5 surface often absorbs organic contaminants in a layer of oxide. Surface can also act like recombination centers for minority carriers and support carrier leakage. We also need a high bulk purity for our wafers. Defective structure is detrimental to the device performance. Here is a diagram explaining my role in the whole project. I would receive wafers prepared by my mentor Kyusang and Tyler using gas phase molecular beam epitaxy and lithography. I carefully study their properties and feed the results back to fabrication and treatment processes. Once the device is made, we will measure its external quantum efficiency and current voltage characteristics. Then I would do a material quality analysis to decide how much a factor each procedure played in changing final parameters of the device. Characterization is a link to device fabrication and ultimate performance. The techniques I study this summer include atomic force microscopy, photoluminescence, and X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy. Atomic force microscopy uses interaction between probe tip and sample. We will use AFM to determine surface RMS roughness or identify any par particle residuals. To use AFM, I would first load the tip onto a piezo scanner. After I switch on the laser beam, I will use optical microscope to align the laser to the back side of the cantilever and its reflection into the photodetector. The laser photodiode dual is used to profile motion of the cantilever. After I initiate a scan, the cantilever will tap onto the surface, measure variation in vibrational frequency, and return a digital image. This technique is very useful when we suspect residual particles on our device surface. The gallium arsenide micrograph shown on the bottom left is taken after plasma cleaning technique. I studied X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy for surface chemical analysis. In XPS, samples are loaded in ultra-high vacuum where monochromatic aluminum K-alpha X-rays are produced. On the other side of the chamber, the hemispherical electron energy analyzer is used. We can subtract the X-ray energies and electron energies to determine electron binding energies. This data help identify elements and determine composition of the surface layer. With reference spectrograph, I was able to locate the indium 3D double peak from the data set. Photoluminescence, or PL, is an optical method used for material quality. In this setup, a CW laser is operated directly onto sample. First, I will load our sample here. I turn on the red helium neon laser. Through a set of plano convex lens and long pass filter, infrared light emitted by the sample are collected by a spectrometer to the back. By profiling intensity and distribution of radiative emission, we can assess the carrier and trap densities of our device. PL also tells us a lot about effectiveness of surface passivation. From this data set, we determined that depositing organic surface layer can improve the PL intensity of indium phosphide. I am glad that I learned to use these techniques and equipment over the past three months period. I am even more excited to have been exposed to the amazing research atmosphere at OCM and the University of Michigan. 
I had many questions about researching graduate school before I joined my my group this summer. I think I have found my answer through this valuable experience. I want to acknowledge my mentors, Q San Lee and Tyler Hughes. I appreciate consistent help from many senior OCM members, Dr. Kai Sun at EMO and the LNF staff. Finally, I want to thank the SHORE program for organizing many extraordinary events throughout this summer.